Greetings metalheads, Helevon here. I'm back today with another analysis of a song by Moneskin in Italian, this time of their 2020 album of the same name, Ventani. My last video on Moneskin, not a breakdown but rather a commentary on their song The Loneliest, turned out to be quite controversial, with uh, many people agreeing that the song is deliberately more mainstream, less memorable and outstanding than some of their older ones, particularly those in Italian, while others uh, were saying that they enjoy the song a lot and that it speaks to them. So this got me thinking, how do we appreciate music? As in the case of books and films, there are some universally agreed upon criteria that makes a piece of composition good. But in spite of this, the process through which we form opinions and appreciate music or any other type of fiction is a very subjective one, essentially. Thus, it is based on our expectations, whether we believe or whether we expect the song to be primarily art or primarily entertainment. Secondly, it is based on our previous listening experiences, the bands and the music genres that we usually listen to and to which we involuntarily compare the song. And last but not least, the impression it makes on us, what it makes us feel and think about when we listen to it. This can be very subjective, maybe we associate it with a person, with a moment in our lives, or maybe it inspires us to do something. When I choose a song to analyze on my channel, I want it to be first and foremost art. It should have a complex instrumentation, it should have a style that is unique and that stands out. The lyrics should be poetic and explore a variety of themes in depth. And it should be able to transport me to a place remote from myself. Not remote enough that it is unrelatable, but that it makes me think and feel things that are not directly connected to my immediate reality. This is what I find in extreme metal, and you can find examples of songs that I appreciate for their artistic value among those that I analyze on this channel, although I'm sure that this is not the only music genre that can deliver this. Well, this short intro about artistic creed was not randomly chosen because the song that we are going to listen to today deals with this theme among several others. Ventani fits my criteria for a great song, so before another album by Moniskin comes out, I wanted to uh, share with you a breakdown of this older song of theirs that I really enjoy. This is Ventani, and it means 20 years. Ho vent'anni, perciò non ti stupire se dal niente faccio drammi Ho paura di lasciare al mondo soltanto denaro Che il mio nome scompaia tra quelli di tutti gli altri The song starts with a little disclaimer. The speaker admits to being immature. Well, if this was your run-of-the-mill pop song, we would now be hearing about partying, getting laid, being happy-go-lucky, uh, about uh, friendships, about uh, wanting to be special, uh, complaints about not being misunderstood by others, and these are all valid uh, concerns, we have all been there. But how about going into the deeper aspects of youth, the less discussed ones, the ones that we don't always see represented in uh, uh, songs or uh, m movies or books that are related to youth. So this is what the song does. It discusses the difficult life-altering choices that we have to make at this age. The process of discovering and building our life philosophy of deciding what kind of adult we want to be. So the speaker here talks about his fears. Yes, he'll work, he says, yes, he'll try to be successful, yes, he'll try to make money, but is this really the most important thing in life? The song is not so much about achieving fame as it is about doing something important, something that stays. It is about achieving immortality through art. I'm afraid of my name disappearing among so many others. So he's afraid of wasting his potential of not doing something memorable. 
Ma c'ho solo vent'anni e già chiedo perdono per gli sbagli che ho commesso Ma la strada è più dura quando stai puntando al cielo Quindi scegli le cose che sono davvero importanti Scegli amore o diamanti, diamoni o santi He says that he has made a lot of mistakes already, even though he is young, because uh, when you want to achieve something great, then um, uh, the burden on your shoulders is big and uh, the more opportunities you have to make mistakes. Youth is uh, not only a time of endless possibilities, as uh, optimistic uh, youths or nostalgic old people say, but it is a time when you have very difficult choices to make. You have to be introspective, to know yourself, to uh, decide what kind of person you want to be and what kind of a life you want to have. And we have this antithesis of um, love and diamonds, meaning the internal and the external, demons and saints, which can mean choosing between uh, right and wrong, between vice and discipline, between um, uh, quick gratification versus long-lasting happiness. But the line between them is often blurred because whatever choice we make, there is always a risk, the risk of losing something else. Most prominent archetype for uh, ambition and for aiming too high is Icarus from the Greek mythology. When um, uh, they are trying to escape from a tower, his father Daedalus builds wax wings so they can fly out. But before they do, he um, uh, advises his son to uh, pay attention to the dangers of extremes. He advises him not to fly too low, which metaphorically would mean uh, complacency, but not to fly too high either, which means hubris, uh, pride and uh, too great ambition. He should take the middle ground, meaning that uh, he shouldn't be too unassertive so as not to achieve anything uh, worthwhile, but also not too uh, proud and too ambitious either so as to not overassess his abilities, which Icarus of course does, and he flies too close to the sun, and we have this image of um, um, uh, flying towards the sun repeatedly in this song. So what Daedalus uh, warns uh, is that one should be wise and uh, uh, know their strengths and weaknesses. I find it interesting that Damiano's social media name is Icar, which uh, I think shows that that uh, this song is quite personal to him in terms of his uh, life philosophy and artistic creed. Sarai pronto per lottare oppure andrai via e darai la colpa agli altri o la colpa sarà tu We are told that this time in our lives is not one for rest, but one for continuous struggle, for fighting. Um, and we have uh, listed here uh, uh, several choices that we can make. So you can be bold, ready to do battle. You can be responsible in not blaming others when uh, uh, you make mistakes or when you don't get what you want. You can be assertive, run straight to the sun, or you can be independent and search for freedom. Or you can always be the opposite and never try to improve yourself and stagnate. So you can be introspective and uh, um, analytical and look deeper into things and realize that the world is not black and white and uh, but try to 
show it to other people who cannot see this. This means not toning yourself down in order to fit in. It means uh, being bold and self-confident and holding on to your opinions and beliefs. So being 20 is the a time when uh, you are not carefree, but you have to be constantly on the move and work and sweat for everything that you have. You're chopping down me. E non mi frega un cazzo ciò zero da dimostrarvi Non sono come voi che date l'anima al denaro Dagli occhi di chi è puro siete soltanto codari so this is about not doing what you do for the sake of others in order to please them, in order to fit in, in order to be liked. You have to do whatever you do for yourself because this is when you are truly honest and this is when you do your best. The more you compromise and try to blend in, the more you lose your identity because art and life essentially is not about making money and forsaking all else in the process. Because forsaking yourself and selling yourself is the mark of cowards, he says. <laughs> So ambition for the speaker is not just about getting far in life, uh, but about being the best version of yourself that you can be and not being ashamed of yourself when you look in the mirror. So uh, in other words, staying true and uh, not uh, compromising what is essential to you. When Damiano looks in the mirror, he sure likes what he sees. Sarai pronto per lottare oppure andrei e darai la colpa agli altri io la colpa sarà tua correrai diretto al sole oppure verso il buio sarai pronto per lottare per cercare sempre la libertà the video in spite of what you can think at a first glance is not about friendship as much as it is about um, what links people of this age together. So the fact that they um, uh, all go through the same experiences um, in their quest to uh, find themselves and to find their way in life. And uh, of course, we can interpret it as being about friendship as well, because they, uh, they find uh, uh, strong bonds in each other to uh, rely upon. But um, um, if we uh, juxtapose the video to the lyrics, I think it is is about shared experiences and uh, of course it's it's a beautiful video and I really like the uh, 70s uh, aesthetic in this hai vent'anni ti sto scrivendo adesso prima che sia troppo tardi e farà male il dubbio di non essere nessuno sarai qualcuno se resterai diverso dagli altri Try solo vent'anni. This last bit is like a letter. Uh, the mature speaker is uh, talking to his 20 year old self and giving him advice. If fame is what you seek, he says, then know that it can only be achieved by doing something different, something outstanding. And then even if you fail, you will still have the knowledge that will comfort you that you have stayed true to yourself. And that should be your greatest achievement. 
This shows uh, not only the uh, maturity of Damiano at that age, but I think the song exemplifies that artistic creed because they chose to uh, write about something that is deep and meaningful and that can make you feel emotions even though it is not about um, love or things that uh, uh, are generally considered as uh, very emotional but the emotion in this song i think uh, stems uh, from how the topic is presented and approached by the fact that they show things that lie beneath the surface and that they go so deep into it that uh, uh, you can actually feel it. I really hope that they stick to their artistic creed in the future and that we can hear more songs like this from them. If not, well for me personally there are a lot of other great bands out there and uh, I will always listen to these uh, uh, Moneskin songs that uh, uh, I love and that I have analyzed on this channel. So this was my analysis, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in my own writings, um, here is my published novel Lucky Wolf which uh, appeared in 2021 and you can find on uh, uh, Amazon and Google Play. It features a lot of illustrations painted by myself both uh, on the covers and inside and um, it is the rags to riches story of a man who was bold enough to uh, achieve what he wanted and to stand against the flow of the crowd, even in a, um, a very conservative society like that of 10th century Scandinavia, because uh, this novel takes place in uh, medieval Norway. Um, as uh, I mentioned before, I'm a doctor in medieval literature, so this is sort of my specialty and my greatest passion. So um, um, this is the setting of the book, but it uh, has a lot of timeless themes. So uh, if you're interested in checking it out, the links are below and uh, the ebook is only $5. Also, if you are a writer yourself and uh, if you are looking to uh, get your uh, short stories or your poetry published, I'm also the editor and co-founder of the literary magazine, The Unconventional Courier. So um, uh, check it out. The link is also below. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please uh, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned to other analysis of metal lyrics. Until next time.